You throw here with uh, Vista Nation, Mountain Vista. Don't let the uh, red and black uh, fool you, ladies and gentlemen. Still uh, the same dominant group that was doing their thing all year in Colorado. Today we get to see them at Nike Southwest and Toka Sticks. Uh, fifth time qualifying for NXN, third time winning at Nike Southwest. Let's talk to Claire Iverson over here who had just another uh, magnificent performance. Claire, obviously, there's so much that happens just to get uh, uh, to this point. Uh, but just the, uh, the fact that uh, the group, I, I really think, even found another level today than you know what you've already been at uh, this year and some of your biggest moments. Like, just how encouraging is that to see what happened the past few weeks really come to fruition today? Yeah, that's definitely true. Today we had to race really gritty, and that's what we did. And I just gave my all for the team. So it feels pretty good, motivating. Most, most definitely. Gabby Beckman, uh, just in, in, in terms of the fact that the group had to play the waiting game last year, I mean, everybody knew that you were going to be in, but still got to wait for that call, you know, uh, you know, to make sure that the at-large is, is in place. Like, just, what is, I mean, nothing is promised, nothing is guaranteed here. Is that a level of reassurance that it's an automatic berth and nobody has to think about it? It is really nice that we don't have to sit around waiting for, like, the California meet to send out all of the at-large bids. It's definitely, like, a relief. Because it was kind of stressful, we were waiting, we're like, oh my gosh, are we going to get in, are we going to get in, but now we don't have to wait and we can just focus on training. Most definitely. Great job. Peyton Adams, and uh, just in, in, in terms of the group, I mean, you're so gritty and tough at elevation, like to be able to come down to sea level, it just, it really, it, it really showed, you know, it just in terms of how the group was able uh, to set up uh, uh, the race, you know, just, especially on a course where so many people are just going so fast here, like just, uh, how important was just composure and just still being that same gritty team even if it was a faster pace? Um, we really just wanted to keep like our headspace the same as it has been the whole season and our coach's biggest thing was since we're at sea level to not look at the time and like freak out because we're gonna start so much faster but to just like keep calm and just keep going with the groups. Well done. Brennan and Jord, in, in terms of uh, this you know, journey that, that you've been on from, you know, one aspect of the country to the other and, co and coming back, it just seems like it couldn't be a more fitting conclusion for you than, you know, to be with this team on, uh, on, on December 7th. And I know you've expressed so much gratitude and so much joy the entire season. Like the fact that this part of the mission has now been fulfilled, what does it mean to you? Um, this team is so incredible. Um, it's so fun to just run with a team this good. Um, just every day going to training, I'm just so excited to train with them because they're all my friends. And it's just, it's awesome. I, it, I love it, so. Congratulations. Thank you. Keegan Edwards, like I said, af after the race, I was having flashbacks in the, in the best possible way to what you were able to do at Coyote Run at Leisure World, and you're an even better version of, uh, of that, not only as an athlete, but as a friend and a t uh, teammate uh, uh, today. Like just. How, uh, how, how significant, how special is it uh, uh, to be able uh, to, uh, to see the, uh, the journey through with, uh, with this team and contribute the way you did? Yeah, it's been really special. Um, this day means the world. These girls and this team means the world to me. And my goal is to be a better teammate than a better runner. And so I just want to be there for everyone. And I know that everyone's there for me as well. And yeah, the goal today is just to go out there and have fun and compete with um, these amazing girls. And I'm just so glad that we were able to do that and have fun today. And because you're friends with so many of these uh, of these women, uh, I mean, like just to be, be able to have that moment of, you know, all these Colorado individuals, you know, along with you know, all the great teams like Air Academy and Fossil Ridge and whatnot, like just, uh, uh, like how, how, how awesome is it when you just have this incredible community of women, regardless of what kit they're wearing, you know, that's going to represent the state? Yeah, it's incredible to come from Colorado where there's such a big, strong running community. Um, I'm, I'm out there and seeing all these familiar faces, getting to run with all the girls that we get to run with back down in Colorado. So it's super encouraging and comforting to see all these familiar faces and to get to run as not just a team of seven, but a team of much more too, as we're all from Colorado. Awesome. Congrats. Oh, Juliet. So happy for you, Juliet. Uh, what, is, what, uh, what is this race? This moment, this uh, this experience, uh, it, like how good is it for your soul? I'm just so happy. I'm so proud of all my teammates and the team for getting here. We've all worked so hard, and so just having this with us is just such great momentum going into NXN now, and we're all just so excited. For, I mean, you are such an amazing teammate, and you're so unselfish and giving and kind. But uh, but just to kind of have the reassurance and the affirmation that it's like, hey. Norris Penrose has humbled a lot of people over the years, uh, so you are not the, the only one ever. Like just to know, like this is this is you know you're one of the best athletes 
in the state, in the country, like just to be able to go out and, and kind of just affirm that again today, like just how, how uplifting is that not only for November 23rd, but also for hopefully December 7th? No, yeah, super uplifting. I'm just so happy to be, have been able to do it with all the girls. It was just a great experience. Congratulations. Thank you. Zoe Brandt, in terms of uh, where this group is at, not only physically, but mentally and emotionally, you know, to, to be able to to do what it did last year, you know, when there was, a, you know, a, a lot of, uh, you know, peaks and valleys. Like, I mean, do you feel like as great as the state meet was, as great as today was, like that there's just more ambition and motivation that like we still haven't potentially run our best race and that's a really, really cool prospect going into Oregon? Yeah, we're all like really excited. We want to see what we can do and just put it all out on the course. like. For most of us, we're all seniors, and it's like this is our last year, so like you might as well just leave it all out there, see what we can do. Awesome. Uh, well, everybody knows my sentiments about this group. Uh, we're going to uh, wait and see if they can put it all uh, together. Uh, again, three regional titles, five NXN appearances. Uh, the only spot left is uh, uh, the best one on the podium at Glendiver Golf Course. Girls, stay healthy. Have a great Thanksgiving. Congratulations. Thank you.